Hey guys, welcome to Nota Drip Coaching. Today is Monday Memorial Day weekend. Right now we are on our way to meet my family. We're having a family barbecue. It's about an hour away from where I am located right now. And it's just gonna be fun. It's gonna be a relaxing barbecue. I just cannot wait to just lay on the grass, get some sun, and just enjoy our day, guys. Family time is just so good for the soul, so good for the mind, and it truly makes me happy. My mom just pulled up, so I'm gonna be following them because I don't know how to get to their location and today is a beautiful day they forecast it was gonna be about 85 89 so not too hot but still hot enough not to have on a sweater which is awesome and I made rice and beans and my mom made her famous potato salad I'm so excited I come for the potato salad if I could just have that in a big bowl I would be happy so I'm excited to have that and just have a nice cheeseburger guys I have not had a cheeseburger in so long so I'm excited to be able to enjoy that and it's been months since I've had barbecue. I'm just a little stressed out today. My daughter has a project due and we haven't even started and it's due tomorrow. We haven't even did one paragraph yet. So I'm gonna try to get some of that done when we're in the park. I will say that I'm definitely that morning person where as soon as I wake up, I really don't wanna talk. I hate talking to people when I first wake up. I like to make my coffee. I like to just meditate a little bit and just be in a little bit of silence. I thrive in silence, guys. So today has just been one of those mornings where everybody wants to talk to me for some reason so i'm just a little bit crappy hopefully as the day moves on it will get better i get some vitamin d i feel better no you cannot have my phone because i'm using my gps and my three-year-old is addicted to cell phones yes he is i didn't get him into it his father did and now every everywhere we go he needs a cell phone he could be sitting in his stroller and he wants a cell phone these freaking electronics are just too much i can't even tell so yeah guys, on a positive note, I'll show you guys the location. I'm excited and yeah, see you guys later, bye. So guys, we're at Sherwood Park and we got a really nice spot. Hi baby. <laughs> Hi baby. So we got this nice little spot. We actually moved this chair and put it under this beautiful tree so we have a little bit of shade. We got the little boom box. I made some yellow rice. We're gonna have Mexican corn and watermelon. We're just gonna set up the grill. And it's pretty packed today, so I'm so happy that we got a table. And the baby's still in the car sleeping. Okay, go help Grandpa. So we're gonna park the cars over there. So I just wanted to give my daughter a shout out. She made these amazing oatmeal cookies at her Moomi's house, and these are amazing. Just look at them. Look at them in the sun. Say hi, Kayla. Hi. Are you gonna stop recording so I can play music or should I play it over your recording? I think you can play it over my recording. Okay. No! You just said I can't play it over your recording. <laughs> All right. Little sister drama, clearly. There is nothing better than to just lay under the sun, absorb all of nature's love, it is so good for the body. So right now, I really like to just lay down, take deep breaths in and out, and create my reality by just thinking about who I want to be. Where do I want to go? It's such a great time for that. I seriously thrive off of watching my kids play outside, especially in these days, guys. It is so hard to get your kids off of the electronics, but here they are playing with their grandfather. Just having a ball. This is the best gift you can give your kids, guys. It's so important. <laughs> really close. <laughs> yeah. So right now we are walking to the beach. Your girl did not bring her bathing suit. So I'm just gonna put my feet in the sand. But it's such a beautiful day, guys. He ate it and he threw it It out. feels so good to just have the sun, a little breeze. So the beach is surprisingly super full. It's packed here. I don't blame people. People are out and about just trying to live their best lives. My sister took off her shoes already. She's not even playing. She's like, we heading right into the Mama. water. Yeah, you Mama, aren't playing, right? What? You know what? Just, just like that. I just 
Yes. Okay, so do you want to take off your shoes? No. No? Okay. And don't litter. Oh, why don't I go get it? Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Peanut. Okay, so go put your feet in the water, honey. You want me to take them off? Come on. And there's people fishing over there. They got the fishing come poles come up. It's just such a beautiful park, guys. And look at his little cute little toes in the sand. How, how does it feel, Bryson? And does it feel hot or does it feel nice and warm? It feels hot. It feels hot? It's a little hot. <laughs> there are so many shells here. Ah, it hurts. Go, baby, I don't know. Maybe they'll be back tomorrow we do. How many times do I have to tell you? And what do you have, Sam Bryson, or you got a fish? Beautiful. In the grains of sand upon the beach Somehow that number is always out of reach How can I tell you the way you make me feel All of my thoughts begin and end with you All of my thoughts begin and end with you His little walks are just the most cutest thing. And I just can't get enough. I really can't. If you guys have kids, you guys know this time goes by so fast. And it's just a joy to see a kid be a kid. My kids are my world. I'm not putting dogs. Um, you had Don. I think Chloe's spilling the tea right now. Mumble rapper. Cookie. Is it good? Yeah. You don't want no more? You see him, guys? He goes, oh, yeah, it's good. Uh, do you want me to lay down me? Yes. Do, do you want me to lay down with you? Yeah? Okay, so I'm coming now. Okay, guys, so we're playing tag. I'm exhausted. He could still play 100 more games. He has been blasting the music so loud. Turn it a little lower, baby. And we have this. We got jerk chicken, jerk pork. Mama. Yeah. It's almost done. So these are the shells that my daughter got. They're so nice. I really like the peach ones. the best chef <laughs> chefing it up here <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what you're making I'm making some some of Ringo's famous jerk chicken and jerk pork 
And over here I got some famous roast corn on the side. Roasted. So it's gonna take a minute, but it's coming up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Potato salad. When we make a little potato salad, we're gonna have some of that. All good stuff you wanna have on the barbecue. Slowly put everything together and pack up, go back home. And have some cocktails. Have some cocktails later on. Except the kids. <laughs> but we had a great day here at the at the famous um, Sherwood Island in Connecticut. Yeah, that was really beautiful today. Yeah. Such a beautiful day. Oh yeah. So my sister is about to show us how to make authentic street Mexican corn. Well, I'm not gonna call it authentic. It's authentic. Because I don't, I'm not like perfect at it, but. Well, she got all of oh, us okay. on this, okay? Okay, so we should get a plate. Okay. Um, you have your cotilla cheese, mayo. Oh no, a knife. And your tahin. And tahin. Tahin. And then, oh, that's a lot of mayo. <laughs> so you spread the mayo, right? Mm -hmm. Also, if any of Rosie's um, followers are Mexican or are really good at making Mexican street corn, let me know any tips and tricks to more effectively put this mayo on. <laughs> I never know how much to put. Yeah, I think it just goes by what you like, right? Right. Mayo and corn, my two favorite things. Mm-hmm. We're preparing the perfect bite. And nothing like grilled corn, right? I know, I was just gonna say that. Okay, so once you put the mayo, you have your cheese. a lot of cheese in some areas but <laughs> the more cheese the better right right oh yes and this has kind of like a lemon flavor mm -hmm. and it's a tad bit spicy so mm -hmm. okay. yes what a beauty. Mm -hmm. So this is how you make Mexican corn, guys. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you. Hi, guys. So we are driving home. We just left. It was an amazing day. It's just such a blessing to be with family. It is just so good to be outdoors, as I said. And it's always bittersweet leaving them because I love my family so much. I'm just so blessed to have them. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And... I hope you guys had a great Memorial Day weekend. And yeah, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.